How do, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Yorkshire Blazeman here, and today I have a video. Uh, I'm going to do a video for you. Today I'm going to show you how the, one of the the best and easy ways to clean your knives, even if you're a knife collector or you keep some pocket knives on you, whatever. This is personally the best way I think is to clean your knife. So first of all, what you need is your dirty knife. It's my Siaki T. Forks Miller's Tanto, you can see there's a bit of grime on there, and I'm going to give it a quick clean up. Now, you're going to need three things to clean your knife. Number one, you're going to need some alcohol. This is med med bleh, medical alcohol, 96%. It's in Spanish because I bought it in Spain for some very cheap amount of money, like 90 cents or something. So you're going to need this. This acts as your cleaner, it will remove all the bacteria because it's an alcohol, kills it all and gets rid of any grime on it which I believe is better than using hot water and so which you can also use that but I believe this is the best way because this guarantees killing majority of all the bacteria because it's an alcohol. Next you're going to need some kitchen roll. This will act as a layer of protection on your surface and also to dry and clean the blade to wipe off the excess amount of alcohol. And lastly what you need are cotton um, well, patches, uh, well, we use to take off makeup and stuff like that. This will be used as supplying the alcohol onto the blade to clean it. So let's get started. So once you've applied your kitchen roll onto your surface to protect it, if you're not bothered then just do it on the surface but I want to make sure that I don't damage or get any stuff on it, any of the alcohol on the granite surf surface. So, moving to the knife onto the side, you take your alcohol. But make make sure you get one of the like, with a small funnel, so you can easily squirt it out. It's just so that you have control of it and you don't want to get it everywhere. Then taking your uh, cotton wool, you just rub the area. Being careful not to cut your fingers at all because you can do this. You cut your fingers whilst doing this. I've done it many a time when I'm trying to clean the blade and I just slip. And you just want to give it a good wipe and clean down. So, as I said, the alcohol will act as a disinfectant, which I'm sure most of you already know this. So it will kill all the germs, well hopefully that's the idea, <laughs> and remove excess grime on the blade. But as I said, if you don't want to splash out on buying medicine alcohol, uh, you can just use uh, hot soapy water, that works just as well, and there we have it. I have successfully, I hope, well, removed all the grime on the blade. Now it's important because if you leave, if you know you've got grime all over a knife and you leave it on there for some time, it's going to become more stubborn to remove and embeds in more so therefore it will take a lot of pressure and more time to remove all the excess ground of it but if you clean and regular your knives and if you zoom in a bit more and if you clean it every time you use it then when it comes down to the big clean with your alcohol then you're going to have an easier time of removing that grime So there we have it, we have one nice clean CRKT for its moon list. And it is important to make sure you wipe down all the excess alcohol that's remained so it doesn't cause any rust. Because as we all know, if you leave liquids onto a knife, then the steel will rust, depending on what steel and the quality of it. So there we have it, one nice clean CRKT. And as you can see on the cotton wool, all the excess grime on. Now this shouldn't take you long 
for any knife, depending on the state of the state of the knife itself. For example, when I do it, I make to like to clean all my knives at the same time. Even if you don't need it, it's just to make sure that the all uh, oh, my words for the all clean, move acting smoothly, and that there's no crud or anything on it. Now, the best thing to do after you've done this is just to apply some WD-40 and work that into the blade so that no rust appears or com comes out, which I'm not going to do now because unfortunately I don't have any on me, I ran out and I need to buy some more. So as a reminder, all you need to clean your knife is really simple, you need alcohol, medicine, alcohol, you can buy this in any local, well in the UK, any local pharmacy, drug, um, like beauty stores, or like Boots, Super Drug, places like that, you can buy this, and as I said, pharmacies, and you can pick, you should be able to pick it up in most supermarkets. So, that's number one. Number two, you need your cotton, well, patches to use to apply alcohol onto the knife, and you need kitchen roll. And number four, just in case, plasters, in case you cut yourself. But hopefully you wouldn't. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. This is the Yorkshire Bladesman here, just showing you how, or well, the easiest, the best, and the quickest way to clean your knives. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. That would be most appreciated. If you can even more extreme than that, subscribe to my channel, because it really helped me grow, and I really would appreciate it. I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 100 subs. So if you want to be in chance of winning this giveaway, subscribe to my channel. When I get to 100 subs, I'm going to release a video saying how you could be the lucky person to win the next. We'll win the giveaway. Thank you very much guys for watching, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.